Hello, my name is Kevin Coons. I'm a professor in the Department of Medical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. Most of us in this department study pathogenic organisms which affect the human body. If we consider the human body, it's composed of millions of individual cells. If we zoom in on a particular region, let's say for example the, the lung here, and zoom in on that, this is a cartoon of an individual cell. Now considering the various pathogenic organisms, most of them are smaller still. So for example, here would be a virus coming along to infect this cell, which as you can see is much smaller. I'm going to zoom in on this virus just so you can see what it looks like in this case. Most viruses, when they take over a cell, will force the cell to produce hundreds to thousands of copies of their genome, shown here by the squiggly lines, and hundreds to thousands of copies of various proteins, shown with the colors. These spontaneously self-assemble to produce hundreds of copies of the progeny viruses, which, once they've been formed, are going to cause the cell, through mechanisms we still do not understand, to burst open and to release those progeny viruses, which can then go on and infect other cells. So my laboratory works with a number of viruses, including influenza, and there are several questions that we are attempting to answer. One question is, how does this assembly process take place? In other words, how do those individual components know where to go to build the finished product? How do the green cylinders know where they're supposed to go? How do the orange starbursts know where they're supposed to go? A second project that we all work on is to try and understand what's happening to the cell itself as a result of the virus infection. Now let's go into the lab where I can show you how we do some of this. The Manitoba Center for Proteomics and Systems Biology is a state-of-the-art facility with some of the latest mass spectrometers. In addition, as you can see here, we have all the necessary equipment to carry out the virological experiments that I was discussing a few moments ago.